now i need to discuss what is called as a harmonic motion see as of now i'll give you the definition just accept it if i say harmonic or simple harmonic they both mean the same there is nothing like complex harmonic motion at all it's just given a name called a simple harmonic so i'll give you the definition as of now accept it once i show you the derivation you will have a clarity on it okay so harmonic motion means write it down any motion or i can say not any motion an oscillatory motion in which acceleration is always directed towards its center or towards its mean position is what is called as a harmonic motion or shm you can call it a simple harmonic itself so if you talk about an oscillatory motion any particle which is oscillating is going to have acceleration that is for sure you will understand slowly why it is so so you can if you want you can make a note any particle that is oscillating will have acceleration and if that acceleration is always directed towards the towards the mean position then that kind of a motion is said to be simple harmonic in nature i'll show you a small example okay now if i take you told simple pendulum is an example of vibratory motion but i'm saying simple pendulum is an example of vibratory motion and a simple harmonic as well okay so if the particle let's say there is a simple pendulum where there is a bob which is suspended by a string it is going to lie at its mean position correct up if you displace the particle from o to a and you release it at point a you remove your hand for at point a what will happen to it so what will happen to it means sir so it will start to oscillate right but my question is why is it starting to oscillate who is responsible for the particle to go into the oscillatory motion why is it trying to come back to its mean position force. which force gravitational so force mg is acting downwards let's say the particle is displaced by a theta with respect to the vertical then if you try to resolve mg into two components then if this angle is theta this will be mg cos theta and this will be mg sin theta so out of mg mg cos theta and mg sin theta which is responsible for the particle to go from extreme to mean position you think logically you will understand the particle is moving in which direction mg it is moving theta. it is mg sin theta that is responsible for the particle to go back to its mean position now see the particle see look at the arrow marks i'm going to use the particle got displaced from o to a but the force is acting from a to o can i call this according to the definition that i have my, in my hand can i call this as a harmonic motion a simple harmonic motion are you able to understand so can i call this as a simple harmonic motion yes or no yes sir so that's what it is that's the meaning okay similarly when it is going to the other extreme mg sin theta's direction will change it will again be directed towards the center so this is one of the best examples for a simple harmonic motion clear sir tell me sir so in one complete oscillation uh, two harmonic motions will be present sir it is not like that there is nothing like it you need not bisect, uh, dissect it into parts it is oh, just sir? like you need not break it into parts you need not break it into one full oscillation at all if in every part of the oscillation okay i'm repeating it if in every part of the oscillation if the acceleration is directed towards the mean position then that kind of a motion is always simple harmonic in nature okay so whether i take the particle to move from o to a or o to b and b to o you can observe it is always directed in the opposite direction okay 
that it, the force is always directed towards the mean position. So when the particle went from O to A, mg sin theta is towards O. When the particle is coming from A to O, what is the direction of mg sin theta? Is it not still towards O? Are you able to understand, guys? When the particle goes from O to A, what is the direction of mg sin theta? Towards O. Towards O. From A to O, it is still towards O only. Its direction didn't change. So throughout its journey, how many other times it is, let's say it is oscillating 100 times. During those 100 times, every time you see, if, at every point, mg sin theta is directed only towards O. So can I call this as a simple harmonic motion according to the definition? Right. So mathematically, mathematically, acceleration is directly proportional to minus x. Negative of displacement. So, A is equal to minus omega square x, where omega is called as the angular frequency, which is nothing but 2 pi f or 2 pi by t. Okay. So, if anyone asks you the definition, then you need to say this. Any motion, any oscillatory motion in which acceleration is directed towards its center, uh, towards its main position. Similarly, if they ask you what is the mathematical condition for a simple harmonic motion, then acceleration will be equal to minus omega square x. Why it is minus omega square x, that also I will prove it. But as of now, have this point in your mind. It is then I can proceed with the next part of the chapter.